Right. I have on with us fighting futures, half musicians, half activists, wholly wonderful. So get ready to rock out, sit back, lean up, all that good stuff. You're listening to WRFL Lexington, your only alternative left. Obey. Adhere to every word they say. You're better to be feared than have love disappear. We're fighting for the dawn. I'm more than your precious palm. That from your city.
Yes. Yes. Um, and then that last one was same old, same old. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I'm right off the bat. I'm getting a lot of kind of themes of being fed up <laughs> with the way things are. Um, and I get is that a, a common running theme throughout a lot of your music? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. For sure. For sure. sure. Um, So, from my understanding is that you guys, you guys weave music and activism, um, and I think we've already kind of seen a little bit about that, but can you talk about how those two things came together, how you got started, and both of them, just wherever you'd like to begin? Sure. Um, I think the peak of the activism really started um, when you, like, when you see a lot of pain in the world, it's really hard to unsee it. Yeah. And when you experience a lot of pain, it's really hard to ignore that and to, um, I guess, not stand up for other people, especially when you feel like no one stood up for you. Yeah. Um, and so I guess when you combine that with a social work degree yeah. and, <laughs> and, and wanting to just really help, <laughs> help people be heard, um, especially when you came from a place where you weren't heard. Yeah. Um, really sparked that and like we we wrote music for a really long time and we didn't really know what to do with it it was just kind of like oh that's something that we do but like when you use writing to process the pain and injustice that you felt uh when no one wants to hear you um that's really i think what started the activism part of writing music for us yeah uh you know i got so excited to talk about like your process that I completely forgot to ask you your name <laughs> so you could introduce yourself to the WRFL listeners. So share names and a little bit about where you're from and sure. all that. Yeah, well, I'm Neve. Uh, I play guitar, sing some vocals occasionally, <laughs> um, some piano um, when we play with a full band of electric guitar. Um, yeah. Hi, I'm Zoe, <laughs> um, and I am the lead singer, and I also do some harmonies sometimes, and I play ukulele, play a little bit of everything, but mostly for all of this, it's mostly just vocals at the moment. Yeah, <laughs> yeah are you familiar with Uke Fest yes. here? And Yeah, I figured, <laughs> like, the, it's, it's crazy to me how close-knit and niche the 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 ukulele i that hard word is so hard for me to say we just say unnecessarily the uke uke is fine yeah (laughs) so like i never would have thought that lexington of all places would have such a vibrant thriving uke scene yeah Uh, but i see stuff for it everywhere (laughs) it's crazy um but back to your music which is Mm -hmm. why we're here tonight um how do you guys describe your sound your the the group to other people and they ask you well what is fighting futures all about how do you how do you respond to that question music genre i would say we fall into more of an indie alternative yeah. rock scene uh when we have a full band um it's harder to like really capture that when it's just two of us and an acoustic guitars but overall the full picture that's probably the genre that we fall into yeah um and Going back to what we're going to listen to next, I see Steps is on the, the yeah. next list. Is that continuing with the theme of frustration at the things, uh, the way things are going, the way things are? Yeah, so <laughs> actually our whole EP that we just released. Yes, um, please. It's all about like injustices in all different realms so we take it from micro to macro um like very social work terminology yes. there micro yes. meaning small <laughs> meso yeah. meaning like in between and like micro is like super large um uh, macro my bad yeah it's um, all good so, like, <laughs> that's that's uh kind of the uh the 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 plan of the uh the layout of the ep Mm -hmm. um but steps is actually a song that we wrote a long time ago before the ep um that's going to be on the full length album that has nothing to do with this ep actually (laughs) (laughs) we it was was a really funny process like we had a ton of songs before that was more of our personal experiences and frustrations 
but when we just saw the personal interactions of people on a day-to-day basis, especially with, like, the divisiveness of the politics that we're seeing in yeah. America, it's just really heartbreaking. <laughs> and yeah. it's so hard to have a conversation um, and to, like, offer a different perspective. And we mm-hmm. saw that need. And so we decided to put our own experiences last like, second mm-hmm. to the EP and to release the EP first before our own experiences because there was just such a need mm-hmm. yeah well uh when when we get to the next break i'm gonna ask more about the ep and hopefully the upcoming full for album sure. mm-hmm. um but for the meantime let's get back into the music yeah. with steps thank you guys so much <laughs> 